Let's learn about fluids and electrolytes, potassium. Potassium is a very important electrolyte in our cells. Potassium contributes most to the osmolarity or concentration of the cell cytoplasm. Potassium plays an important role in many body processes, including the function of muscle cells, metabolism, and protein synthesis. Potassium and sodium regulation are closely linked. Aldosterone helps to regulate potassium. Aldosterone is secreted by the adrenal glands and targets the kidneys. The adrenal cortex secretes aldosterone in response to an increase in plasma potassium concentration, as well as angiotensin II, which results from activation of the renin-angiotensin system. Aldosterone has an effect on the kidney, specifically the distal convoluted tubules and collecting ducts located in the nephron. Cells in the tubules and collecting ducts respond to aldosterone, causing an increase in sodium reabsorption and potassium secretion. This lowers plasma potassium. Disorders of potassium concentration include hyperkalemia, or high plasma potassium greater than 5.5 milliequivalents per liter. Hyperkalemia can be caused by kidney disease, Addison's disease, which affects the adrenal glands, tissue damage, potassium supplements, and some blood pressure medications, such as angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors, which have a potassium-sparing effect. Hyperkalemia can result in serious problems, including fatigue, weakness, numbness, tingling, nausea, vomiting, breathing, and cardiovascular problems. Hypokalemia occurs when plasma potassium is less than 3.5 milliequivalents per liter. Hypokalemia can be caused by kidney disease, diabetes, ketoacidosis, vomiting and diarrhea, extreme alcohol use, and some diuretics. Hypokalemia is very dangerous and can cause constipation, fatigue, weakness or muscle spasms, dysrhythmias, abnormal heart rhythms, and paralysis. I hope you've learned something about potassium, and see you next time.